Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be testing out another weird product. I'm going to be putting it through its paces and letting you guys know if it is shit hot or just a load of shit. So in today's video, we're going to be trying out the brand new Maybelline Tattoo Brow. This has just launched in the UK, I believe. I think it's been out for about two weeks or so and it costs $12.99. So it's not the cheapest drugstore product in the world. So what it says on the website is that it's an easy peel brow tint that's supposed to last up to three days. I think it comes in three different shades. You have blonde, uh, medium brown, which is what I've got here and also dark brown. So it says step one, clean brows and apply product to the desired shape. If any mistakes are made or you need to touch up, use a cotton bud to easily remove product before it sets. Okay, so let's have a look at this little guy. Ooh. Oh, it's very, very gloopy. I don't really want to swatch it because I'm thinking it might stain my hand. But as you might be able to see, it's got like quite a thick wand. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see because it is obviously covered in product, but it's just like a regular brush tip wand. Kind of smells like PVA glue. I love PVA glue. So what I'm just gonna quickly do, I haven't got any makeup on or anything like that, but I'm just gonna go through my brow, show you guys there is nothing on there right now. It's all me, baby. It's all me. So apparently I just apply this straight to my brow. I don't know how much I'm supposed to apply. Let's see how, oh, this is so gloopy. So I'm actually going out for dinner tonight, so I'm really hoping this works, because if it's gonna look like this, I might have to cancel. It's quite difficult to get it precisely on the tail of my brow, so I'm just gonna use a brow brush. This is just a brush that I normally use for like pomades and stuff like that, and I'm just gonna kind of neaten it up with that. I don't really know how much I'm supposed to apply here, but if it has to peel off, then I'm guessing it needs to be like a decent amount. Wow. Now you just have to make sure they're even. No pressure at all. So far, it does seem to be like a decent color. This is how it'll kind of develop. Oh my God, my eyebrows are uneven. Good one, Steph. What the hell have I done? Nothing a little baby white can't fix. I'm really kind of hoping no one shows up at my door anytime soon, because that could be a tricky one to explain. I've literally never tinted my brows or anything like that by myself, so. I don't know if this is what it's supposed to look like. I've got no idea to be completely honest with you. I mean, I think they look even enough. Sisters, not twins, are they even related right now? They're some ugly ass sisters. Okay, so I think that's even enough. It doesn't seem to have dried or anything yet. It was fairly easy to apply. Obviously, you wanna make sure you have quite a steady hand and you're being quite precise. So I probably would recommend using like a wing liner brush or something like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this to set. It says on the website that you should leave it for 20 minutes or until it's dry. So. I'm gonna wait until it's dry and I will check back with you guys in a second. Okay, so everything has now dried down. I'd say it's been around half an hour or so, so a little bit more than 20 minutes. But what I have noticed is if I kind of like scrunch up my brows, I can see that the product has kind of lifted a bit. So I'm guessing that's where we like peel it away. Oh, you can actually see it has tinted it a bit. So basically what it's done is it's dried and it started to kind of lift around the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh God. Some of it underneath hasn't dried properly. Oh, some of it's still wet. Oh God, got a little brush here. Let's see if I can pick it up that way. Oh, there we go. There's some of the tint like stuck in my brow that's kind of like half dried, but maybe I put on a bit too much. I'm gonna kind of comb that out, but it has definitely tinted it. I feel like what it's done, obviously I can't really tell with my brows anyway because they're quite dark naturally, but looking at it, it's like tinted the actual skin underneath, so it's filled them out a lot more. I like what it's done with my arch. If I was to ever get microbladed eyebrows, I would just literally get them microbladed up here to give me a higher arch. This color in particular is probably a little bit too warm tone for me. I'd probably say just because of my hair. If I had my natural hair color, then it would probably work. But just because my hair is obviously very, very ashy, I'd probably say I should have gone with the darker one. But I do really like that it has kind of like filled out my arch and made the tail of my brow really, really sharp. Obviously mine wasn't completely dry, but it still tinted everything. So I'd say if you are putting on like as much as I did, Maybe leave it for a little bit longer, maybe 45 minutes or something like that, or even the two hours if you can. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It doesn't look as harsh as I thought it was going to at all. I was worried about doing it at the front here, 
because I was worried it's going to be super blocky brows. But it's much more of like a natural tint actually. Let's see if much comes off when I wipe it. No, not much. And that might even be the stuff that's like stuck in my brow hairs at the moment. Yeah, barely anything's coming off. Okay, so I'm now going to go ahead and do the other one, but I'm going to zoom you guys in real close this time so you can get a good look. Okay, so I'm just going to pick that little bit at the front of my brow. Hoping you guys can see this. This is so satisfying. Yeah, that one came off a lot easier. I love it. There is still some stuck in like, the middle of my brow, so I'm just going to try and brush that out. I, mean, I don't know if you guys can see, if I like brush my hairs in the opposite direction, you can just see it has tinted the skin underneath. Like I said, I think this colour is a little bit too warm tone for me, so I probably should have gone with the darker one. But it definitely works. I'm actually really impressed with that. Yeah, you guys, I'm actually really, really impressed with that. I thought I was just going to end up with like these crazy blocky brows, but it's just kind of filled them in nice and naturally, just like how I would with a pomade, but it doesn't look over the top or anything. In regards to whether or not I would do this every day or every three days or whatever, probably not, but say when I go on holiday or something, I'm definitely going to be taking this because I feel like it just kind of frames my face a little bit better. I definitely think if you have more sparse brows or you want them to look a bit darker, then this could work really, really well for you. For me, obviously, I have got quite thick, quite defined brows anyway, so it's not making like the craziest difference, but you can still definitely see that it has filled them out. I'm going to make sure I film a few clips over the next few days, so if you guys were curious, this is what it looks like on the second day, and this is what it looks like on the third. And I mean, hey, if it's going to give me an extra five minutes in bed, then that is a thumbs up from me. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Hopefully some of you found it useful. If there are any other products that you guys want me to put to the test, then let me know in the comment section down below. As always you guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.